Well, so oftentimes the people that come to us for help are really just like all of us. They live their lives and then something bad happens. And the difference for them is not having the resources to deal with that. And I'll give you an example. We had a uh, young woman come to us who's a single mother working at a uh, pretty low paying job. She had saved $3,000 to buy a car. She gave the gentleman who was selling her the car the $3,000. He promised to deliver the car to her after making some repairs. And after that, neither gave her the car nor her money back. We were able to sue him, get a judgment, and he is paying her that money back now. Uh, when she tried to find legal help before she came to us, she was told, you know, and this is, is a typical private lawyer cost, would be $800 to $1,000. Well, for somebody who uh, was buying a car for $3,000 and didn't have any money, that's that might as well be a hundred thousand dollars. So, you know, lowering those barriers, helping people uh, stay on track financially is is a real uh, benefit of what we do, I think. Um, we had another case involving an elderly woman whose husband's son, her stepson, convinced the gentleman who was dying of cancer, convinced him to change his will and leave everything to the stepson. I mean, these things happen sometimes. So uh, this lady was going to be evicted from her house or, or kicked out of her house because of this. And we were able to challenge this new will and uh, allow her to stay in her home. So again, those are the kinds of things, you know, one of those events can, can put a family or an individual like that uh, out on the street, uh, interfere with their ability to work, do any number of things that change their lives for the worse. So the first thing I need to know is your name, your position, and tell me the mission of your organization. My name is Ann Mathis. I am the Executive Director of the Community Legal Center. We've been around for over 20 years. Our mission is to provide assistance with non-criminal legal matters to Memphians of lower income, and that is people whose incomes are too high to qualify for traditional legal aid, but who definitely do not have the disposable income to afford um, a, a private lawyer. And sometimes these people are called the working poor. Um, but that is our mission. That's what we've been doing, as I say, for over 20 years. Well, thinking about this, uh, I, you know, our clients are people, again, who come to us without uh, the ability to pay and so for us a $25 donation will help us do something like provide them with the proper intake that they need. It, $25 should um, give us uh, that much attorney time to sit with them and ask them what their problems are. Sometimes in our intake we find out they don't have a legal problem. The problems they have are best uh, dealt with by another social service agency. So it really is necessary to sit there and spend a little time and find out. Uh, we also can use uh, $25 to uh, get some interpretation help when we have clients who do not speak English. Uh, that is, is something that we run into quite a bit. Um, we have, uh, of course, the traditional needs for, uh, for copies and uh, office supplies and all that sort of thing. And, and we, you know, $25 would pay the phone bill for a week. So uh, anything, uh, any $25 is going directly into services for our clients. Memphis has a lot of heart. Let's grit, grind, and give on November 29th, Giving Tuesday. Well, we certainly are hopeful that our story will, um, will interest people, that they will understand the need for what we do, and that you will give and help us with that. Um, you can go to our website, um, Giving Tuesday, at clcmemphis.com, and click the Donate button and uh, give what you can, obviously. Uh, $25 would be great, and we appreciate whatever you can do to help.